This is a video about loading websites to GitHub and I'm going to use this website as a sample. This is available for New South Wales Department of Education students and if you sign in with your school email you can download uh, and uh, grab the files. Uh, best to sit through the whole video to sort out how it's built. Okay, I've got a copy of it here. Uh, before I'm going to do anything, I would uh, copy Control C, Control V, uh, back that up. I'm not going to bother renaming it, but you can see that I have there the changes and all of their, um, the little changes that I've made each time. Let's have a look at this on a browser and you can see that's Paul Trani's original site. Okay, let's go now and look at it in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to open it with Dreamweaver and while that's opening, uh, I'll just try and emphasize the importance of having your site set up. As a teacher in New South Wales schools, I find students often um, skip this step uh, and it causes all sorts of problems. It's the only way you can operate in here. Uh, you can see that mine is already set up. Uh, by the way, I can use live view or I can use the um, design view. I already have my page uh, split vertically. I can change that with view. It's a little slow here. View split and it'll say vertical or horizontal. It's just catching up with itself. Um, so I'll go back. Yeah, here we go. Split vertically, split horizontally. Personally, I like it vertically. Okay, we can stay here on live or design. If you are wanting to actually get the code for a particular spot, then it's better to work in design view. Uh, I think it's slowly coming up to design view. Uh, okay, so if, if for example I want to get the code for that logo, if I click on it, it will come up here in the code window. Um, it just seems to be taking its time. Yes, okay, now let's try that again. Are we in design? Uh, we certainly are in design, and yes, it's just taking its time. And there we see the code the source for this particular image. Okay, I'm going to go back up to the top of that code because in a little while I'm going to change the title. Uh, wow, this is slow. It's giving me a bit of trouble. Uh, okay, here's the title. Okay, in a little while I'm going to change the title. If I look at that there, and I go to the web page, there we see the actual title. Okay, I'm now going to go to my GitHub site and I'm going to create a new direct, a new um, repository. Uh, I'm going to call this portfolio P portfolio demo. And I'll probably delete it later because it's just for this video. I'm just going to leave uh, a very brief comment here. Uh, I'm not going to choose a license, although I've got a choice of all of these. I am going to create a README file and I'm going to create the repository. Uh, and I'm going to copy the link to this repository. And we'll notice here that there uh, is just the readme file in that repository. Back in Dreamweaver, I need to check my site setup. Okay, if it's a if you've not set up a site, you'll get the dialog for new site. For me, I'm going to manage this site. Uh, I'm going to use this portfolio demo just check it um, portfolio demo I need to check I'm using OneDrive so that I can access this from many machines and 
uh, it's definitely pointing to the right folder. I want to make sure that I do not go too deep and select one of these folders. I want the folder which contains the whole website here. Select that folder. Now you can see that my associating with Git is all greyed out. So at the moment I'm going to save that and that's done. I'm going to go back to my folder for a minute and I'm going to delete my git ignore, delete it, and I'm going to delete the .git folder which was there before. Why can't I see it? View, hidden items, there it is, .git. Right, I'm going to delete it. Okay, I'm going to leave those hidden items viewable for the time being. Alright, now back in Dreamweaver, when I go to my site, Manage Sites, uh, Portfolio Demo, uh, I can see that I can now associate this with a Git repository. Save. Done. Now, this Git menu is here. Uh, if I'm working and I don't and I need the space, I can use the window menu to show or hide. All right, let's track what's going on here. And shortly, uh, Dreamweaver is going to realize that all these files are changed from what's up on GitHub. Well, that's true because there's nothing on GitHub just yet. So now I need to stage these files, commit them. And I need to make a comment. So this is going to be my uh, initial commit or my first commit uh, of all these files. OK. Uh, it's now going to tell me uh, there's nothing to commit. Git, what's going on? This menu. Oh, I have not set a remote. Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? Okay, so let's create the remote. I have got that remote address on my clipboard. There it is. Let's call this portfolio. I've got to be careful, no spaces here. But if you forget, uh, it'll, it won't let you get away with putting a space in here. It'll give you a message. Now I need to log in. Um, and I need to test and make sure that this is going to the actual directory and it's not going to get lost in space. There we go. That's working. Okay, it's going to save my password now. All right, you'll see that since we committed those files to our local directory, it's now saying we have got files to push up to the remote directory. It's remembered my password um, and let's see if this will work. Quite often I find I get a failure. Here we go, we've got a failure. Um, failed to push. Updates were rejected because the remote contains work that you do not have locally. Okay, we'll close. So let's make sure that we fetch all the remotes and counters. Uh, and see if that helps us. Okay, now it's saying that there is a pull and a push. I'm going to do the push first to see if that works. We'll try again. And uh, it's no, it's failed. Okay, so we're going to close. I'll try the pull. Uh, this is likely to fail as well. Uh, okay, so next plan. Ah, oh, reset it to the branch master. Okay, that's promising. Let's try now, staged. All right, let's try a final push. Uh, and cross fingers. No, uh, did not need pushing. Okay, let's go check and see what's going on at the website. Only two files here, refresh, only one commit. 
refresh still only one commit nothing has happened here let's do one more thing let's make sure we fetch oh, I beg your pardon I needed to git fetch let's, do, let's commit the stage files now okay uh, commit after sync um, And we'll see if that works. I need to say OK. Um, now, let's try again. Push. And cross fingers. Ah, this is looking better. Now, generally that uh, fetch there, sometimes I push the fetch. I normally have to work in line. Push the fetch and then push anyway we should be there now let's have a quick look okay just the one file refresh and yes it's all there okay we now have two commits we can look at those commits if we wish okay uh, commit after sync all right let's make a change to our file let's change this title um, and call it portfolio Okay, Control S saves that there. Let's go have a quick look at our website, see if it's changed. Have a look at that index file. I could have just refreshed it because it's already open. And it says portfolio. It's changed from designer for portfolio. Okay, let's go to Dreamweaver and check the status of our files. Ah, there's one file which has changed. There it is, index. Let's commit it locally. Um, so uh, changed title on index. And here we go. Done. We have one file to push up. And let's push it up. OK. Uh, let's see how long it takes. Hopefully a little quicker than last time because there's no big images. Successful. Great. Let's go over here to um, our portfolio site. And if we refresh this, we should have another commit here. Changed the title. Let's have a look at that. Uh, hang on. Let's go back here. Uh, I'll push the wrong bit there. Three commits. And let's click on here. Uh, and you can see the old in pink and the new in green. That is just amazing version control. That is brilliant. Okay, one more thing we need to do here. We're going to go to settings. And we're going to set up the website. So if we scroll down here, uh, whoop, danger zone, we don't want to go there just yet. We want to, uh, the GitHub page, the static web page is currently disabled. We want to enable it and we just want to view the master branch. Okay, it's going to come back up here. We go back down here and we have our address. Okay, if we were to put that in the browser or just click on it, we would be able to see our website live. Uh, I'll just copy that, open a new browser, although I know I could click on it. Take that full stop off the end, and it sometimes takes a little while to come up, but it's here. It's got portfolio right there. All right, I might do one more change in Dreamweaver. Let's do portfolio demo. Control S. Let's uh, check to see if there are any changes. Again, index is modified. Let's commit them locally. Uh, um, minor change to title. Uh, and 
OK. We now have one file to push. Yes, there it is. Push. OK. We are pushing to the master. So we're pushing to online now. While we're at it, let's go just check locally whether that's changed. Actually, we've already got it. Oh, I'll do it. I'll open it once more locally. I know we had it open before. Locally, portfolio demo. We can see that's local because it's coming from C drive. Here it is on GitHub. Let's hit refresh. And there we go. It is updated on the web. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much.